Hey guys, so I know you've been asking to see a get ready with me uh, video. So I'm going to do that today and I'm actually going to start out by doing uh, the skincare routine I do in the morning, which is actually pretty simple in comparison with my night routine. I usually take it pretty easy in the morning. So uh, when I wake up, I'm usually just rinse my face off. I usually don't wash my face in the morning just because my skin is so dry. I've noticed that just rinsing it off is uh, cleaning it enough for the morning time. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm also going to curl my hair and do my makeup too. So, um, yeah. So this is the first time I've done this type of video. So I hope you guys like it. So my skin is always a little slimy in the morning because just because of, uh, how many layers of skincare I put in on in the evening. And I'll have to do a winter skincare routine video. And last night I derma rolled too with the micro needle. So that's always, that's always enjoyable. So, or not enjoyable. Although last night I used a needle that was 0.5 millimeters. N normally the one I use is uh, one millimeter. So it didn't hurt nearly as much as it normally does. So after I rinse my skin off, uh, the first thing I usually apply is the First Day Beauty Ultra Repair Hydrating Serum. I just, I love it. I can't get enough of it. I can't uh, recommend it more than what I already do because I think uh, anybody with normal skin would like it, oily skin, dry skin, um, and some people with oily skin, that might be all they need to use in the morning. But uh, for me, it's just one of many layers. So, and it's, since it's winter in Minnesota, my skin is especially dry. Um, drier than it usually is and it's usually pretty dry uh, and when it gets like negative 10 below it's even worse so there you go I apply a pretty good layer of it usually about two pumps or two pumps or so um, so then I usually give it a minute or two to absorb and then uh, the next thing I usually use and I've been doing this uh, probably since it came out I usually use a uh, pump of the debronzing by Drunk Elephant, and I usually mix that with the Proteini, which I've been using a lot since that came out as well. So um, usually I use about uh, one pump of the debronzy, and then that's a pretty good amount. And then uh, usually about two pumps of the Proteini, two and a half. And I mix it really well, and it seems to help give my skin a little bit of a glow as well as some hydration. Uh, and uh, during the summer, this is really all I need to use, and then I just use a sunscreen on top of it. And then uh, if I'm feeling like it, I'll use my foundation, or I'll just use a sunscreen and go. It just depends on what my skin looks like that day and what I'm up to, so... But I usually try and get it pretty good over my forehead because that area tends to get dry. And then a little bit on my cheeks. And I'll do a little bit on my neck. But on my neck, I don't use the debronzy. I use uh, a CeraVe moisturizer. I think I got my face pretty good. And uh, lately, this actually hasn't even been enough in the uh, dry weather because... Uh, by the end of the day, I can tell that my skin's looking and feeling pretty dry. So probably going to need to, uh, add a little bit of moisture. So let's see where it is. So then, uh, what I do with the rest, there's usually a little bit left of the debronzy and the Proteini is I'll mix a couple of pumps of the CeraVe PM facial moisturizing lotion. Uh, and I'll mix that with the remaining amount of debronzy that's left on my hand. And then I usually just apply that to my neck because that area is like the worst part dry. I don't know why my neck is like just even drier than my skin, I, my face. I mean, I don't know. So lately at night, I've been uh, applying a lot of moisturizers and balms and ointments and things and it seems to be helping. But like even like right here, I've got like a super dry patch and it's actually getting a lot better. So... I don't know. I think it's just the curse of being in Minnesota during the winter time. So, so that is it for uh, the debronzy, the Proteini, the CeraVe. Usually, I wipe off my lips because I usually have a little bit extra on my lips and off my hands. 
I go through so many Kleenexes. I don't know. It's kind of sad, but I don't know. Thankfully, I, I always have at least one box. So when I know when I use my second to the last box of uh, Kleenex, then I got to go buy more. And uh, a sunscreen I've been using a lot lately. I just picked it up a couple months ago. Is the Claire's uh, Soft Airy UV Essence. It's really nice. It's a good sunscreen. It's moisturizing. It really has no scent. Uh, a lot of times sunscreens have just a bit of a scent to them. This has like no scent at all. Um, and I find it to be uh, slightly moisturized. And it comes in a huge bottle, 2.7 ounces. So this one, I never feel guilty. This is what I've been using all winter because it's got a solid SPF 50, which in Minnesota in the winter time is probably not necessary, but I prefer to go as high as I can in a product I like. So, um, and this, this step depends on what foundation I use. Cause if I use a really light sunscreen, then I will use a, uh, foundation with a high SPF and make sure I apply the foundation liberally. Uh, but if I apply the pretty good sunblock that kind of opens up my options for foundation, because then I'm, I know I've got a pretty good SPF on. So then if I want to use a, a foundation that doesn't have SPF in it, I feel like I can. Uh, the SDLR Double Wear Light is a good one. Uh, the newer Wander Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation is a good one, but neither of these have sunscreen in them. So that's when you really need to make sure you're going to put a sunscreen on. But if I'm using like the Dr. Jart Beauty Balm, it's got a 45 SPF. So if I'm not going to be out much during the day um, and I'm not going to put sunscreen on, then I'll make sure I use this because it's got SPF in it. But it's always risky to kind of use foundation for your main SPF because you have to make sure it's applied liberally. And most times foundations just don't look good when they're applied very liberally. They look good when they're blended and kind of lighter lighter amount. So anyway, so, but I, ha I haven't reviewed this Claire's uh, sunscreen yet, but I'm going to have to. So, cause it's a, it's a good one. I really like it. And it doesn't seem to mess up the debronzer that I have going on underneath it. But uh, anyway, and normally you should wear SPF all the way down to your neck, but since it's Minnesota in the winter, I'm going to be wearing a coat that comes up to here. So my neck isn't going to be seen by anybody, including the sun or myself or anybody else I see. So anyway, okay. So usually at this point now is when I'll curl my hair just to kind of let the SPF soak in. It gives it a good 10, 15 minutes to fully absorb. Uh, you want to let um, sunscreen absorb during, uh, at least give it 10 or 15 minutes because then it has a, it's kind of just set and fully absorbed and becomes effective then. So uh, if you put an SPF on and then instantly go for foundation, sometimes that can dilute it a little bit. Um, I don't know exactly how much, but I don't know. The fact that you're still putting SPF on is always a good thing. So I don't know. I'm not going to get too bogged down with the rules, but I used to have really, really long hair and I used to use my uh, Beach Waver curling iron, which I had, uh, this is my second beach waver. My first one, uh, my countertop was so cluttered with things that I accidentally put the cord on top of it, didn't realize it was on and it sparked and kind of started a little bit of a small explosion. So I got my second one and then like two weeks later I cut my hair and it was too short to use. So uh, I've been using this one a lot. It's just kind of a wand, but it's got a clip on it. Um, but it seems to do a nice job giving my hair a little bit more curl. I, I just don't think I look the best with, uh, this is not turned on. This will need a minute to heat up, but, um, I just don't think I look best with just stick straight hair. So that's why I'm using the wand lately. I don't know. I've got a lot of different options, but I don't know. The wand seems to work the best for me. So. I'm going to allow my curling iron to heat up for a few minutes. Okay, now that my curling iron is heated up, I'm going to do that really quick. I usually don't spend too much time on it. And uh, on a lot of my days where I'm not doing too much, I don't even curl my hair. I just put in a ponytail, which my friends get down on because one of my friends is like all about hair and I don't know. I'm not the best at hair. 
So anyway, so usually try and curl that and I usually try and do like two things at once. So if I have the wand in one hand, I'll curl my eyelashes and apply mascara primer or not a eyeshadow primer. But uh, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I got to get better at doing my hair. I mean, it was really long as easy because I just curl it or put it in a ponytail. But now it's like medium length. And uh, I don't know. Just not the best at it. So and I usually take too big a pieces because I'm not patient. But if I didn't go fast on my hair, I would probably spend five hours in the bathroom before I even left the house. It's easy to do. Okay, so now I am curling my hair. Got my curling iron heated up. And you know what? A lot of times I shower. I tend to shower at night. I know a lot of people like to shower in the morning. I like to shower at night because I, in the morning, I hate uh, blow drying my hair. And especially when it was really long, like when I used to shower in the morning, it would take me like a half an hour, 45 minutes to uh, curl my hair after drying it and I just didn't want to do it anymore. So then I just got in the habit of showering at night before bed and uh, it seems to work okay for me. And then I just let my hair naturally dry overnight. Although some mornings I will say it's still a little damp, but uh, today it's pretty dry. So that's good. But I don't know. I just like to shower at night because like, especially like if I'm up at uh, my parents' cabin, like you know, bug spray and sunscreen on and like mosquito bites and dirt and just I can't go lay down in bed when I feel icky or have like bug spray on or too much sunscreen on. So I just sleep better when I shower at night. So I'm almost completely done. See, my hair doesn't take me too long. I'm pretty good at it. I'm pretty quick. But I do wish I was better friends with a hairstylist. And I've got like one, one piece left. And that means I'm going to curl my eyelashes because I'm almost done. And then I'm going to start with my makeup pretty soon. There we go. And I've got a few really good eyelash curlers. This one is, uh, I think it's Shiseido. And I just picked it up recently. And yeah, it's just Saito. And it really is better than any other eyelash curler I've ever used. I didn't think there could be that big of a difference with a handle and a piece of metal, but it really does make a huge difference. And on my last curl, I always unplug it and then I go grab my clothes for the day as it's curling the last piece of hair. So, although I already put my clothes on because I didn't want to, I didn't want ever to see myself in pajamas. So, usually not a good look. So, I got kind of dressed for today. Okay, that is uh, good. Now I'm gonna go start with my makeup. And as you can see, I just went with a ponytail because I'm probably going to go do some grocery shopping and then go to the gym afterwards. So, okay, so I've got a new beauty blender. I dropped my old one on the floor yesterday and I was not going to um, reuse it after that because it was kind of not nice. So I got a new pink one. And today, a lot of days I'll just wear the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. I like it because it's a pretty good match. It lasts all day um, for the most part. It's got a touch of SPF in it, SPF 20, which isn't uh, above the recommended 30, but a little bit on top of my already SPF face is okay. So you should apply 
I'll throw in a couple. Usually one or two pumps is good. And then here's where another uh, Kleenex comes into the equation. Because I always try and kind of wipe off the beauty blender a little bit. This one's very light pink. And I will say that I cleaned it after using it for the first time yesterday, and it still is light pink, but I don't think it's going to last very long. So a lot of days I don't even wear like a makeup primer, um, especially during the winter. I don't need, my skin's already dry enough. I don't need any mattifying, mattification, mattif I don't need to mattify my skin um, unless I just want to add a little bit of a glow. I'll use the Smashbox um, Radiance Primer, but... Uh, lately, I haven't been using any primer at all, so and I haven't had any issues. Or I've been using the new uh, Blith Blythe. They've got some new primers out. I've been using them a little bit, but I think I'm just going to go right over it today. So, And I've heard uh, recently that the way beauty blenders are used is like all wrong. We're supposed to be bouncing them, not swiping them or something. But, uh, oh well. And you know what, I even think this color of Bare Minerals Bare Pro is, for the winter time might be a little too dark for my skin tone, but usually if I blend it out, it's okay. But my skin is still so dry. And for uh, concealers, I've got a lot that I really like. Um, the new Becca, it's newer. Uh, Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer is a good one. Uh, really creamy. I like that. Um, the new Cover FX Power Play is good. I also like the Cover FX Perfect Pencil uh, Concealer. And then the Urban Decay uh, Naked Skin Concealer is always awesome. I always have one of those with me. So, um, but it just depends on where I'm using it. I really don't tend to do much under my eyes. I don't know. I just apply a little bit of foundation and go with it. See, this is why I always wear my pajama shirt before I get, uh, wear my pajama shirt when I'm putting makeup on because I always tend to get powder and things on me. Just a little bit of concealer. And there we go. Okay, so I think I'm pretty much got the base uh, makeup face on. And uh, next I'm going to go use my powder, which is I think the thing that makes the biggest difference uh, overall for me is just the powder I use, which is the Hourglass um, pow powder and a few more Kleenexes I ended up using because I go through Kleenexes like most people I don't know what they go through, but I go through a lot of Kleenex. Let's just say that. But I always use them to wipe the countertop off. Otherwise, it'd be too wasteful, right? So, uh, almost always what I use to uh, set and finish my face is the Hourglass Ambient Light Dim Light Powder, um, unless it's summer or I'm somewhere hot or on vacation. Uh, sometimes I use the Too Faced um, Setting Powder, but for the most part, almost every day, this is what I use. And I use it with um, the It Cosmetics Brush uh, number 211, and it's the All Over Powder. Um, I find to me that it just picks up the right amount of powder. And uh, this is pretty new. I go through these about every six months, which I don't know, it's not bad. But I think any little bit of glow I have on my skin is mostly thanks to uh, Hourglass and this powder. Because uh, it like almost from the second you start applying it to finish, it almost like completely transforms your skin from dull to having a little bit of glow. Um, so I like that. And then let me get my uh, bronzer. And uh, bronzer I really like is also Hourglass. Uh, what is it? Ambient Lighting Bronzer. And the shade I use is Luminous Bronze Light. 
uh, or I've got uh, a few of these palettes and I'll use them as well. They all have a uh, bronzer shade in them. Um, but for today, I'm going to use this and the corners gun. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to repurchase this or I should just use my palettes that I have. I've got three of them. The Ambient Light Edit Palette, Volume 2 and 3, and the Hourglass, what the heck was the other one? Unlocked Palette. I've got that one too. But uh, to apply my bronzer, I use, I have two of these brushes. It's the same, um, It Cosmetics and number 211 All Over Powder Brush. Uh, the same, but I have two of them, one that I use for the um, all over and then just one that I just use only for bronzing. So that's this one. Uh, and then I usually apply just a touch of blush and uh, I've lately just been using it. This is a Real Techniques brush I got. I just thought it was pretty. Uh, it says 100 on it. It just seems to work for blush, but I'm going to use, uh, this is the most recent um, ambient light palette and it's got a couple shades of blush in there. I'm going to use the one in the middle. And I don't apply much, I just apply just a very touch. And there's a lot of days I don't even apply any blush at all, but um, might as well. And then after I apply that, I usually blend the bronzer and blush a little bit with one of these e.l.f. Kabuki brushes. Just a touch, just so, just to, so it's a little bit even. And then uh, my, this is, I guess, my secret, I guess, uh, is uh, the... Um, Laura Geller Diamond Dust Baked Gelato Swirl in the Diamond Dust Shade. And I think that gives my cheeks a little bit of a pop. And uh, the brush I use, I, I think I got this at like Marshalls or something for like 10 bucks is a Kat Von D Shade in Light Brush. And I always use the light end of it just to get a little bit on my cheeks and a little bit upper, but I focus on just getting a little bit to the high point of my cheeks. And then it just gives my skin a little bit of a glow, more of a glow than it normally has. And then I take the e.l.f. Kabuki brush and just blend it a little bit more. And there we go. And I'm almost done. But I got to do my eyes and then I'm almost done. I got to do a little bit of brow, just comb through to even them out a little bit. The older you get, the uh, less eyebrows you have, it seems like. So I don't know. I guess I'm okay with the amount. I usually don't color them in or do anything like that. But um, and then and then I just do a little bit of eyeshadow. Uh, during the winter, I don't really apply eyeshadow primer for the most part because my skin's already dry, my eyes are dry, and I really during the winter don't have too much of an issue with um, eyeshadow flaking off or anything like that. So. Um, let's see, let me grab my favorite eyeshadow brush. It's taking me a second to find it. Here it is. I know, this is just a Morphe brush. I, I just, I like to use it for the uh, very top brow bone area. And uh, this is the palette I picked to use today, which is the uh, Zoeva Offline eyeshadow palette. I picked it up when I was in Australia at the Sephora in Australia because uh, in the U.S. they don't have uh, this brand in the stores. So I usually just apply just a touch on my brow bone of the lightest shade in here, uh, which is the first shade. Just applied a little bit and then I like to do a little bit in the uh, crease of my eyes. So I didn't clean this brush beforehand, but I'm going to now. I'm going to use my Unicorn uh, Fur Brush Cleaner. So I use this like every day when I don't want to fully wash my brushes, but I want them cleaner. So I think in the crease, you know what? I think I'm going to finish with the Natasha Denona Mini Star Palette because it didn't get a lot of love from people, but I really liked it. And to be honest, I'm not a huge Natasha Denona fan. I mean, her like expensive palettes to me are like, they were just okay. But I really like this one and nobody else seemed to. So uh, the second color is kind of a taupe color. I'm just gonna put that in the crease. And I'm using uh, the Urban Decay. I think I got this with the Naked Smoky palette. It's a double-ended brush. So I'm just using the 
wide end to just get a little bit in the creases. And I'm not the best at doing eyeshadow because my hands are always shaky from too much caffeine. So there, I think I got a little, I think I did good there. And let's see, then I'm gonna grab another brush that I really like. I'm not gonna do any powder eyeliner today because I don't feel like it, but um, I really like this brush. It's Lottie London. It's just a chubby pink brush and I initially got it, uh, I think in an Ipsy bag, I wanna say. And I really liked it and then I couldn't find anywhere to buy it until uh, recently. I think I found it on Look Fantastic or Feel Unique, one of those two. Uh, they sell like makeup products and things. And I finally found these brushes and I ordered like five of them. So, so then I'm just gonna finish off with the blue shimmery shade. And I'm just gonna put that all over my eyelids. But I really like the Mini Star palette. Uh, the other Natasha Denona palettes are like 130 bucks. They're all okay. But I really like this one. I don't know. Nobody else did though, so I don't know. So I just am doing just a little wash of color, nothing, nothing too big because why not? And then next time I do one of these videos, I can do a different palette and do something different. So there we go. And then I'm going to clean this brush one more time. And then I'm just going to give myself just a little pop of the color on the, uh, on the corners of my eyes, or not the corners, the middle of my eyelids. There we go. That's a good look for daytime. And then, uh, and then if I got any, a uh, little bit of fallout, I've got a fan brush that I usually, I think this is Morphe too, that I just take and make sure there's no fallout on my face. And then uh, I'm almost done. I think two more things to do and that is mascara and I've been having fun trying a lot of different mascaras but to be honest the one I really like is the Tom Ford Extreme Mascara and I picked this up like over a year ago so don't tell anybody because you're supposed to throw them away after six months but I kept it because I really liked it and then I didn't use it and now I found it and I've been kind of using it again and I'm using it with the Chanel base which this is like an expensive like mascara primer, but it's like the cheapest feeling one ever. But it does work. It just feels cheap though. I don't know, nothing wrong with that. But anyway, so I just apply a little, little bit. And my eyelashes used to be really long when I was using the uh, Rodan and Fields Lash Boost. I used that for about a year. And when I ran out, I wanted to see what would happen. And uh, once I stopped using it, within a couple of weeks, my lashes started to fall out. And after that, now they're just back to normal. But I don't know. I just couldn't justify spending $150 every few months on uh, eyelashes. And it's not like my eyelashes are super short to begin with. So although if you have very, very short lashes, it's awesome. I loved it, but... You know what I don't I can't I'd rather spend $150 on skincare stuff so and have normal size lashes. So I don't know, I really do like this Tom Ford mascara, but you know what? There's a lot of other mascaras that are out. Like the new milk makeup Kush mascara is awesome. I really like the original Buxom mascara. That one's good too. Uh the roller lash is good. Uh yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting for me to count and see how many mascaras I've got because I've got a lot and I don't know. I probably got a hundred in my drawer right now, but I still keep coming back to this one and there's still some left. So I don't know. I like it and it doesn't smudge. And when I was using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost, my, I'd always end up with like a, my eyelashes would touch my brow bone area and I'd look like a mess. So, um, but this is a good one. And then for lips, I'm pretty much done, but I always, uh, this is a good primer, Urban Decay Ozone Primer Pencil. It's good. It, it also kind of hydrates skin a little bit. And then, uh, I don't know, a lot of times I go with a darker shade, but um, today I think I'm just going to go with the Charlotte Tilbury uh, shade. Let's see, what shade is this? Snow Girl. And I think I got this in the Beautylish uh, Lucky Bag last year, I think. 
下哦。But I like the shape of this because you can use it, kind of outline your lips and then fully. Just the shape of it is very nice, but the formula is okay. But I like the wand better, so I don't know. I guess I'm done, right? So that was my first get ready with me, morning skincare routine and hair video that I put off doing for two years. So, um, but I know you guys asked for it, so there it is. I hope it wasn't、uh, too long to watch, but、um, definitely leave comments or suggestions or any of your thoughts.、Um, I love hearing from you guys. Uh, and check out、uh, nobsbeauty.com, the Amazon link below. Check out my airless jars on the Amazon link.、Uh, my color switchers are there.、Uh, jar sets are there, and uh, new uh, cosmetic clutch bags are there as well. So check them all out. And thank you guys so much.